I am going to be racing Loretta Lids this year. I finally made the decision. I know I said I wasn't going to go, but change of plans. We got a lot of work to do before we end up going. All right, everybody calm down. I'm posting their video. God, I, just, I know everyone's so excited to see my videos. No, but anyways, we're back. Uh, exciting video. Finally going to be riding again. It's been way too long. Uh, I've been waiting for a while, but we finally got some, we got some exciting stuff in the truck. Let me just go grab it, and uh, we'll show you guys what we got. We're finally about to be back on the bike. That's right, we got suspension, just not normal suspension either. You guys take a guess on what this shit is? Check it out. That's right, y'all. That says 450. We're finally going to be back riding the 450 suspension. Suspension? The 450, the whole bike. We're not just riding the suspension. So we're going to be riding T-Bone's bike with this suspension. It's going to be awesome. Um, I still got to build this whole bike. We're planning on going to Paris tomorrow. Probably not going to film any of the build process. I got so much to do. Not a lot of time to do it because everything's bent on this bike. So I got to like change everything. And also probably going to change the air filter, put the other stuff on. <sighs> Let's get her done. We got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to get to working and uh, get this thing done for tonight. And then we're going to go ride tomorrow. Should be good. I'm just excited to get back on the bike. Probably going to get a little tired on the 450, but that's fine. We got a lot of work to put in. If we're thinking about doing Loretta, maybe. All right, quick little update. We got the whole front end put together and we're getting the bars switched out for my other bike because I only have one set of bars that isn't bent. So we got this is all dialed in and then we're just putting the new fresh bars on right now. Uh, we had to change the throttle tube because the other one smashed. We still got to do the air filter thing, put the shock in. Uh, I've got a new front wheel on there and then I also got to switch these rear wheels. Hopefully I don't have to switch a sprocket because that'll take way longer, but uh, yeah, so we don't have too much more to do. Just got to get these bars tightened up and then we'll be doing the shock air filter Got to clean an air filter uh, air filter. I'm trying to hurry up because I got to go uh, I got to go somewhere tonight. So we got to hurry up and do this So let's get this this done so I can load up. All right guys We got the whole bike together with that fresh factory connection Suspension massive shout out to them for all their support Stuff's looking fresh on there. I'm really excited to ride this thing tomorrow. Like I said, been a minute since I rode a 450. Tuning with you guys in the morning when we're heading out to Paris Raceway. Okay, it is the next morning. You guys can see it's absolutely beautiful out here. It is currently 8.14, so I gotta leave here at about 8.30. We are uh, loaded up, pretty much fully loaded up right now. Looking here again, because I always forget something. But uh, yeah, it looks like we have everything. So I'm gonna hit hop on the rower. Hit like a little 10 minute warm up, get the blood flowing. If I don't warm up, my knees are literally shot and I could barely ride. Um, oh, I got all, I'm gonna bring these extra wheels just in case I get a flat, cause at Paris I always get a flat. So I'm gonna throw my extra wheels in here just in case. But bike's all loaded up, got the gas in here, toolbox stand, I'm ready to go. But we gotta warm up or my body is going to crumble apart like an 80 year old man with Alzheimer's trying to make love to his wife. So we are going to get that done real quick. So made it higher to Paris Raceway and it's obviously windy here and I don't have a mic anymore so audio is probably gonna be horrible if I go out there so I'm just holding my camera in the van. But the track looks absolutely amazing. I'm feeling pretty good, got warmed up and we're pretty much ready to go. Got the bike all dialed in, I'll show you guys what that thing's looking like right now. She's pretty pretty. So uh, yeah, but I'm excited. Hopefully it's not too slippery out there and hopefully I don't get too much arm thump. That's the goal. Just want to take a short moment to give a massive thank you to 23 Media for getting clips for this vlog. I really appreciate the support, man. I'm going to put his Instagram right here. So, guys, make sure you go over there. Give him a massive follow. He puts out some awesome content on Instagram and YouTube as well now. I, I know he's on YouTube, too. Pretty solid out there. Uh, we're 
tired already, but we got to set sag and stuff, so we're going to get that done really fast. Our first moto went really good, did 30 minutes. You know, your boy's not ready for 30 minute motos, but we were out there chilling, doing our best. 450 is a bit much for that long. I just held on and honestly did the best I could. Put everything I had out there on the track. Been off the bike for a minute, so I'm happy to finally get some motos in. There's so many fast people out there too. It's like, it's wild trying to go, but. Bikes handling super good. Massive shout out to Factory Connection for all of their, massive shout out to Factory Connection for all their continuous support. Suspension's working absolutely amazing. Without them, don't know what I'd be doing. So a massive shout out to Tyler for letting me borrow his bike. Uh, I'm I'm in a I'm kind of in a shit hole right now, so without T-Bone I wouldn't be riding. So shout out you. Um, that's why it says match him on it. So thank you, Matt Tyler. Match him. <laughs> He's my brother-in-law. For anybody wondering. finished up riding you guys can tell i got a whole little little dirt beard going on here but it was a pretty good day i'm actually so stoked on how i rode and i think we're gonna be able to make a lot of progress i am planning on doing loretta's now so i know that's uh i made that video saying i wasn't gonna go but i've talked to a lot of people figured out a little bit of funding and i think i've made the decision that i do want to go race loretta lens this year i'm an alternate one class and the other class i'm gonna race my the 450 so shout out tyler for that so we got a lot of work to do building that thing getting it ready for the race but we did a 30 minute moto today pretty much pushed the whole time to the last like four laps i threw the parachute because your boy was beat but uh yeah i'm stoked on it so we got we got a lot a lot of stuff to figure out but we're just gonna keep working at it and we'll figure we'll figure it out the reason i was skeptical at first on going to loretta's is because I wasn't sure if it was fully worth it to me to go um, for one class. I am an alternate in the other, so that means there's a chance. So I do have to build a 250 just in case I can get in and I'll be able to ride practice on that bike. But it's so much money, so much stress behind it trying to go, uh, trying to put everything together pretty much by myself literally stresses me out so much. So I was weighing in the options if it was even worth going. I've talked to sponsors, talked to my trainer, talked to parents, uh, to my parents, um, even to my friends, and pretty much everyone's basically telling me to go. So I did make the decision. I am going to Loretta Lynn's no matter what. I'm going to go on a 450 if I can only race one class. Guess what? I got to go podium in one class. Um, I know I can run up front. I've done it before, went there before, and ran up front. Um, so I'm excited to go, but that being said, I literally have four weeks to prepare everything to go, like get a hotel, part. Um, design some graphics with NLAB. Obviously, we're going to design some heat for you guys. Like, I'm not going to go on an ugly bike. Um, what else? I have, I have literally so much planning to do, trying to figure out money-wise how to go. Um, if anyone is interested in sponsoring me for the event, I need to know pretty soon. Um, I'll probably post some stuff on my stories. I'm trying to reach out to some companies, seeing if they want to help me uh, with the trip. I know um, there is some people that are already interested in helping me out um, for the trip. I'm not going to say who yet. We're just gonna figure that out, stuff out when it comes. Um, well, we gotta rebuild the 450. We got a leak and seal on that thing right now, of course. I don't even have a 250 to ride. I still gotta go pick up my other 250. I just don't have enough money because I've been working, trying to get enough money to go pick it up. So I should be getting that bike this week and then we'll probably put like a few days on it and then just let it sit till Loretta's. Um, oh, so much to do, I'm stressed out and I'm still gonna keep these videos going. So appreciate you guys for watching. Tune in for the next one.